everyone, Cynthia Luhu here. I have a couple projects I'd like to share with you, and I also have uh, templates for these available for purchase on my blog, um, and they're convertible templates, and I'll explain that a little more while I show you. Um, this is a birdhouse that I created with chipboard, and I did a crackle finish on it. And this one's just painted white. I got some beautiful lace trim, some pearls, some beautiful I am roses. Here's the pedestal. And the pedestal I used um, is from, I don't know how many of you from Hob get uh, supplies at Hobby Lobby, but it's like one of these things after it's empty. So that's what I used. Um, really sturdy, heavy duty. Uh, a little bit more heavy duty than the toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls. So anyway, um, this is the this will be called the round birdhouse, and the convertible part of this will be this lid will open up and you can put stuff in it. So it'll be open and closed, or you can just make it closed. <laughs> Okay, my husband just tripped, so, <laughs> okay, um, so there's that one, and there'll be pictures so you can see, you know, how <laughs> how good they look, I mean, how they look, sorry, no tooting my own horn here, um, anyway, um, I, I also used a chipboard on the bottom, I just cut two circles, and then put these little uh, crystals inside, and then topped ones, kind of like a sandwich, okay, <laughs> and then, Here's the other one. This one is more Victorian. That one was more shabby chic. Um, so for this one, I have a template also. This will be a square. And the convertible part of this is that it's a Kleenex. Um, it can be a Kleenex uh, holder. And it fits a standard. Let me open it and show you. It fits a standard square um, Kleenex box, just like this. And the top just comes, you know, up and down. Or the, what else it can do. And the options will all be, all the instructions will be there to make it convertible. You can have this um, to where it's just a closed birdhouse, you know, with no um, function. Or the top will open so you can use it for a box. Um, so anyway, I did the same thing with the bottom here, the pedestal. I used some uh, papers from the French Country stack on this from DCWV, um, and it was just too, the colors were too bright for me, so I had to do a whitewash. And then this is from my templates, the cube template, um, and the cubes come out to be two and a half um, by two and a half square. Um, and then I just put some beautiful trim, some I am roses. Um, and when you do a whitewash, if you have a project that the colors are just too bright, you just take a little bit of flat acrylic paint um, and mix in a little bit of water and then just brush over it. And if it, if it gets too much paint on there, you can always wipe it off with a paper towel. Um, so anyway, those are my projects and templates. Um, I will have links um, to these on my blog, so make sure to check the description for links. And then I'm going to sell these templates um, $2.99 each or both for $5. So make sure you jump on that. There'll be a template, and make sure when you print my templates out, make sure that it's not that your uh, printer settings is not set on um, fit to page or uh, print and fit an area just make sure it's you know not set on that okay and then they should print out fine you'll print it out cut it out and then trace it onto whatever um, material you want to use for your birdhouse um, all of my templates that I do are all um, 0.22 weight chipboard it's what I've always used and I love it because that chipboard can be cut in your spellbinders you can cut your spellbinders out with it um, I also have that for sale um, on my blog and if you just scroll down a little bit you'll see it so stay tuned for the pictures and make sure to check the description thanks for watching bye